Hey guys, good morning. We're finally doing this. This is the uh, beginning of our Salmon River season. So Austin and I, Austin with Lip Ripper's Guide Service. Morning. Also, hey, good morning. Uh, also on, on Catch Happy and Alex here on Sweeney Sports. We're doing a trip for salmon right now. We're at Discovery Park, Sacramento, basically downtown Sacramento. And uh, we'll have, we put together a kit with a rod, reel, and all of the tackle needed to catch salmon. So we're gonna go and give it a shot. It's still early. They're, they're out here. Uh, there's a bunch, gonna be a bunch of boats here with us, but coach, coach and I have a little bit of confidence. We're gonna get one today, but either way, we'll show you the process, what we're doing, what we're using, and uh, we'll see what happens. Awesome. What's the strategy today? We're gonna go down here, sit right below the mouth of the American, sit on anchor, maybe troll a little bit, but we're gonna be pulling uh, silver trons and um, pulling quick fish plugs. Gotcha. You expect a lot of boats out? Oh, yeah. And you're saying people are catching now, right? Today is what? Today is July 29th? Uh, 27th. 27th? See, it shows how much I know. <laughs> it's the early. This is before the sun up, so you can see it's still dark out here. Yeah, it's very early still in the system season. But we want to be the ones to open it, right? Yep. All right, let's get the boat in the water. This is the mouth of American River right here. So that's downtown Sacramento, and then this is the mouth. This is kind of where we're gonna sit. Um, you see already a couple boats sitting here. Uh, so we're gonna park this actually more than a couple. There's at least four boats here now. The sun is still below the horizon, so we're getting ourselves a little bit of a fishing time. Well, the sun comes up, it's a little cold, not too bad. View. A great day of work ahead of us. Alright, so we're anchoring up. This is about, I've seen lots of fish on uh, fish finder. It's about 19 and a half feet depth here, about 20 feet or so. Coach is gonna twist this around the anchor. Hopefully it sticks and then we'll get to fishing. Arm. Everybody wants to crumb. All right, one rod is fishing. We're seeing them roll everywhere. Well, not everywhere, at least twice. There's a couple big rolls right around us. So they're here. We know they're here. We're marking a bunch of them on the fish finder. Coach, walk, talk me through your setup right now. This the second rod we're doing. Yeah, so I got a. 40 pound big game, Charlie big game leader to a barrel swivel to a, then I got a sliding weight, slides up and down my line. I got two beads, a bumper bead to protect my eye. Uh huh. Got a weight dropper. I'm just gonna flip my flat fish on the bottom of my plug leader. Right the eye. I'm gonna grab a two ounce weight. And basically the idea is you kind of let it out behind the boat. Yeah, let it look until the weight touch the mouth the bottom and just hang out. You can work the rod a little bit, bounce the weight off the bottom, but here we don't have a lot of current, so 
kind of sort of do its thing. Just kind of let it out. Yep, nice and easy. Don't let it go too fast because you don't want anything just to go back and tangle. We'll do this for a little bit. If not, then we'll troll, depending on this wind. Yeah, it is a little windier than, than I've seen in a while. We work it just like this. Come on, baby. Let's get one in the boat. Oh, yeah. Work, work As soon as you get them up. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You guys see that? You're two hands, dog. You're two hands. I got it. 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 Two hands. Hold on. I got it. Two hands. 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 <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Oh, flat earth. Look at the size of this chrome, baby. Come on, Austin. We were due, man. We were due. <laughs> wow, well, I thought you was the only boss, though, huh? Look at that beauty. <sighs> All right, so Austin got this baby right first thing in the morning. Look at that mouse, awesome. So this plug right here, that's part of the kit, right? This plug is in our kit, you know, we're out here trying these things. I run that plug religiously and 30 seconds in the water and we got a freaking Cromer in the boat. Unbelievable, man, good job, fantastic. So this, this kit is available at getchappy.co as well as at Sweeney Sports if you're around Napa. Come down and see us. All right, let's get another one. All right, looks like the bite is on. Now the boat right up there, the white one. Just got hooked up. Don't know if he got one or not yet. But uh, we got one rod fishing. Second one is about to go in the water. Maybe we got a third one. We can use two rods each. But so far, so good. A little windy. Man, the first bite was sweet. Oh, it's got a good sized fish. You guys seen that? That might be a 15 pounder. It might be more. Is it bigger than ours? Wow. This is just. A beautiful view right here. A beautiful view. I haven't seen this bag this full <laughs> with one fish. All right, so we have three plugs fishing. I'll we'll grab our kit here. And Austin, which one do you want me to get out of this? We're gonna grab that silver trout right there. We're gonna throw, throw a spinner behind the boat. Throw a spinner behind the boat. Let's do that. This is the one right here, right? Silver Tron? Yep. Okay. And this is, guys, this is the one. This is what we've been getting on this morning. And a bunch of other options here in the kit. Comes a rod and reel, of course. All right, so we're trying a silver plug now. Yeah, yeah, it's a silver plug with some pink dots. So it's, it's a quick fish, got a little bit of rattle to it. Okay, I'm just trying to piss them off right now. Yep, just trying to get that thing down there to agitate them. As you said, they're not really feeding here in fresh water. They're, they're here to spawn, so we got plug in front of them, right? And they yep. get, they get upset. Plug. So what's the what's the thought process and the color? I mean, did, why do they why do they care? Is it? See, they're, they're, I mean, a lot of guys go off color. Like I run silvers, pinks, and greens, but I mean, any plug it will work. Just if it's in their face, they're gonna eat it. Just grab it. A lot of guys say color doesn't matter, but I only run certain colors. I believe you because we got one. <laughs> you can say what you what you say, but. When you put one in a boat, that's all that matters. So this is one of our kit rods. Can you talk through the setup real quick? So it's a yeah, Kuma. Yeah, so this is our kit rod we got for you guys. It's the Kuma SST. Uh, it's an eight foot six, medium heavy rod, 10 to 25. With uh, We got paired it up with the Kuma C-Trix. Comes with 65 pound braid. That's uh, a good braid. Gray or green, you know. I like the gray, very subtle. Yeah, I like, cause you can see it. All right, so we got three plugs going. We got this set up on the kit rod. We got a little weight leader. Was it two ounce? Yeah. Okay, and we got spinner here. Just gonna let it out. 
work it back, bounce away a couple times and get the weight back behind the boat a little bit. All right, four rods fishing. Along with uh, at least about 10 other boats this way, uh, 10 different boats this way. All right, guys, so we get in the rain in the end of July, which is unheard of in California, but we're definitely getting rain on. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Dumb time. What is this? What a pleasure to be here we're with fishing. you today. We're definitely fishing and getting wet, and it's kind of cold. We got fish. And it's end of July. Yeah. What is going on here? You guys see this? Like everyone's running for their top. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Hope not too long. Right. Let's go to show, man. Never know. You guys gotta put him bucket over his head. That, maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't you jump next to that fish in that bag? A bag of yours. Oh. Four homeless people getting wet right on. Did not expect that either. fishing all in all it's 10 30 getting off the water got one cromer in the cooler Austin's gonna show us how to fillet this bad boy do you want to weigh him uh, let's see what we got what are you thinking 15 15 pounds 15 pounds I could paint a thing what do we got 15.5 15.5 excellent looking fish here's your filleting moment of the day <laughs> got berries. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. Oh, yeah. There's your caviar. Ooh, fish eggs. They're not really formed yet. I mean, they're kind of small. That's perfect. Perfect. Perfect for bait, right? Yep. Mm. Here. Yes, sir. Austin's happy as a clam. Oh, yeah. See the picture? That's a happy smile right there. All right, first one of the season on the river. Many more trips to come. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. We've been catching. We've been catching.